What's going on guys? Today is Friday, August 30th, 2024. And we have 63 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. Yeah. It's like 2.02 p.m. <laughs> it's like 2.02 p.m. And I'm just getting the chance to do this intro to the video. Um, I've been going back and forth with GoDaddy and my developers for this landing page. And it's like, it's like I'm a hot dog stuck in between the middle of this side of a bun and this side of a bun and I'm relaying each message to this person to that person and they relay, relay it back to me and I relay it back to them and this shit has taken too much time today and um, GoDaddy guy is mad at the developers saying they should know how to do this they're saying something about him and I'm stuck in the middle so very very annoying situation doing this with these people especially only for a damn landing page come on man makes me concerned about my damn app <laughs> and my platform like if we can't get this right how are we gonna get that right that's concerning Uh, but it's different developers for different things. That developer for this landing page is not the developer that is developing the platform. <laughs> I'm telling myself this. Uh, either way it go, it's Friday. Uh, just getting some things off my desk, handling things that needs to be done. Uh, still reaching out for customer discovery meetings. Uh, that's really, that's all that's going on is, you know, uh, probably, probably will play basketball tonight, Friday night. Last Friday was just so trash. I hope it's not that, this, I hope it's not that again. Uh, but that's really, that's all that's going on right now. It's not, not much going on again. This is for sheer documentation. This is not for your entertainment. I'm not here to entertain you. So if you watch this video, I'm not gonna do a cartwheel. I'm not going to show that pretty Latina girl that lives across the street to show, hey, I live in Colombia or I'm here in Colombia and look at these girls and look at her butt. I'm just not gonna do that. I'm not here to entertain you. Uh, I'm here to document my journey of building my startup and that's what I'm doing. So you'll probably unsubscribe anyway, right? So please do. I, like, honestly, I like I think I'm probably setting the record for uh, actually losing subscribers. You feel me? Like, you know, other people there say, yo, my channel is growing. My channel is growing. And my channel is not. <laughs> you know so and i and, and i'm okay with that i'm okay with that even if i can use youtube for like a cloud you know of my complete journey building this startup that's okay right so I'm, I'm i'm fine with that uh you know i have a lot of things to say but maybe i'll go on a walk to say them because the more and more I watch the internet, the more and more I'm on it, and I need to probably get the hell off. The, I need to get the off the internet, maybe, because the more and more I'm on the internet, I see it more and more just not alike these people on the internet, like for real, for real. Like, you know, you look for things in the internet like you like things and things in your algorithm because you may see yourself in that you may want to learn that you know excuse me um however i'm just not seeing people that are like me on the internet just for real for real 
I know it has to be people out there that are like athletes, tall, business people, um, just thorough, you know? I just don't see it. Fuck y'all at? Where my group at? You know, people that want to make impact. It's like a what is, you know, it's like a. Man, it's hard to explain. I'm just going to go ahead and finish working. It's all, like I said, it's already, it's already past 2 p.m. I'm looking to get out of here uh, by 5, go grab something to eat, play some basketball hopefully later on. But yeah, uh, I have a meeting tomorrow. I have a meeting Sunday. Week don't stop. Entrepreneurship. Uh, yeah, so get better every day. Obviously, I'm not in the best of moods. Basically, still I need a permission. I'm waiting for the I'm facing for some permission issues. We are facing the permission issues here due to uh, which we are not able to add it and delete file here. Uh, we can you can see I'm um, click on this file, but already disable the delete button. So this is a permission issue. Uh, also, Hassan can use like uh, locked in and share a screen and like go to this uh, screen so uh, we can check if you have the permission or not. Sure. So <laughs> this is this is super dope. This is super dope and I, I I had to talk about it. I had to say something about it because the name of my company is All Dreams, right? The name of my company is All Dreams. And I seen something yesterday where it's it, you know, it was a notification. It says Joe Andreessen makes the 53 man roster. I didn't think anything of it, right? Because who is Joe Andreessen? And the roster I'm talking about is my hometown team, the Buffalo Bills. Okay. And I see this notification come through. I'm like, okay. Because it said like reaction to. Joe Andreessen, Joe Andreessen making the Buffalo Bills 53-man roster. So I'm like, I, you know, I didn't even look into it. So I'm on YouTube. It's like 2.47 p.m. And on the side suggested for me is Bills linebacker Joe Andreessen reacts to making Buffalo's 53-man roster. And I'm like, yo, okay, this is the second time I've seen this. This is the third time I've seen this because it was two that was on the side. I'm like, what is this? Obviously, it's for me to see. They're suggesting it to me. I click. And it's telling the story of this kid named Joe Andreessen that makes the Buffalo Bills 53-man roster. He is from Buffalo, went to Lancaster High School in Buffalo, and he just made the actual 53-man roster. Matt Milano got hurt. Obviously, that helps his chances. That helped that helped his chances to to make the team. But what a story! As the founder of all dreams, what happens in my thoughts watching this story? First, story is a huge part of Joe Andreessen's making the 53-man roster. At that level, if you're invited, you have to be able to play. They're not inviting anyone 
to OTAs or to camp if you can't play. So obviously this guy could play. He's a sideline to sideline guy. However, I believe his story helped him get to be a part of the team. And then I think, because I'm the founder of all dreams, man, what would that look like if Joe Andreessen, nicknamed Buffalo Joe, had a dreamer's vault from when he was playing in Buffalo, Pee Wee League, to Lancaster High School, to the one school, not even sure the division that he played in college, and then an offer from the University at Buffalo his final year uh, from the transfer portal or whatever, then goes undrafted. But what if he had a dreamer's vault with his story, training, game film, highlights, categorize of his journey, and then now to making the actual Buffalo Bills roster because there's a picture that's floating around online of him and his girlfriend at a Bills game tailgating. Now, what if they go, what if they had, what if media with this story had the opportunity to go back into his dreamers vault and watch all of that progress up until now and then he makes the the team? How impactful would that, how valuable would, would that be? That's what we're building. That's what will be happening in the near future. Where these stories, where media will be able to go back and say, oh, wow. They'll be able to go back into his dreamer's vault and watch the complete progress to get to this point. And man, what a story. What a story. And it just happens to be for my hometown team. I would love to do some type of partnership when we launch with Joe Andreessen if his family has some of his footage and make him a dreamer's vault. That would be sick. Your dreams are coming true. If you could go back to that parking lot and that tailgate and say to that younger version of yourself, a couple of years from now, you're going to be playing in that stadium. You're going to be playing with Josh Allen. You're going to be having that uniform on as a member of the Buffalo Bills. What do you think you would say? Um, to be honest, I just say God is good. And, you know, don't lose sight of the, the bigger picture. You know, I've had a ton of times just like human nature, get down on myself, think um, things aren't going right for me. But, you know, God works in mysterious ways. Just have the faith to keep pushing forward and um, know it's going to work out one way or the other. Let God direct your steps. Knowing with him, nothing is impossible. Dare to be great. With every step, every move, use what God has put in you. Love the game. I just got my dad wrote this one out. He's reading. He's reading. Keep them feet moving. Always make an impact, my son. Sideline to sideline. Part of my Friday. Relax with this view right here. I have a milkshake that I just finished. This never gets old right here though. Especially when it's not blazing, blazing hot. It's very, very comfortable right now. But this view never gets old. Yeah.